Welcome to another lecture by Medical Medics. Medical Terminology, Chapter 2 Anatomy Specific Terminology, Part 1. In this lecture, we will have a brief overview over the cardiovascular system, discuss common cardiovascular terms, discuss the respiratory system, musculoskeletal system, do some practice and application runs, and end with a summary. So in this lecture, we will focus on medical terms related to three key body systems. The cardiovascular system, which covers the heart and blood vessels, the respiratory system, so our lungs and airways, and the musculoskeletal system, which covers bones, muscles, and joints. Understanding these terms will help in describing anatomy, conditions, and procedures specific to these systems. Now let's begin with the cardiovascular system. So the cardiovascular system, briefly here, consists of the heart and the blood vessels. The heart which pumps the blood and the blood vessels which carry the blood. Now this is not a physiology course, so we will not go any further here. Now going back to medical terminology. So we have cardi, which we told, went through before, which was the heart. So cardiology was the study of the heart. Now we have the word angie, or the word root angie, which means vessel. We have angioplasty, which means the surgical repair of a vessel. Now, plasty comes from opening, and angie is vessel. Adding the vowel, we have angioplasty, which means essentially surgical repair of a vessel. We have the word root vas, which also means vessel. So if we say vasodilation, we mean widening of the vessels, something dilating, widening, right? We have vas or vas, which is vessel, and o, the combining vowel. So vasodilation, the widening of vessels. Again, we have heme or hema or hemat, meaning blood. Adding logi and the vowel o, we have hematology, study of blood. Now let's look at some common cardiovascular terms. You're already familiar with bradycardia, meaning slow heart rate. We break it down, it's brady and cardia. So bradycardia, slow heart rate. Another one you should be familiar with is tachycardia. Remember, tachy meant fast, while brady meant slow. So tachycardia is fast heart rate. Another one, a new one, is myocardial infarction. It means heart attack. The myocardia is the heart muscle. Myo comes means muscle. And cardia was heart, so the heart muscle. Adding eol here means related to something. So when we say myocardial, we mean the heart muscle related to whatever word then follows. So myocardial infarction. And infarction means tissue death. Another one is hypertension, high blood pressure. Tension means pressure, or is equal to pressure here, and hyper meant high. Do you remember what the opposite was? So if we have high blood pressure, hypertension, the opposite one would be hypo, so hypotension, low blood pressure. Now let's look at the respiratory system here. So the respiratory system includes nose and sinuses, so place of air entry and filtration. We have the trachea and the bronchi, which are our airways, and then the lungs, where oxygen is exchanged. Now. Returning to terminology here, we have pulmon, or pulmon, which means lung. If you add uh, logi and the combining vowel, you would have pulmonology. So pulmonology is the study of the lungs. Another one is bronch, which is bronchus. And if you say, for example, bronchoscopy, Scopy means viewing, so 
bronchoscopy means viewing the airwaves. Another one is nas, or nas, meaning nose. So if we want to say or talk about something related to the nose, we say nasal. And finally, thorac, meaning chest. So thoracotomy, meaning incision into the chest. Now let's repeat some common respiratory terms. So we have dyspnea, which means difficulty breathing. Dys means difficult. Nia means breathing. Putting them together is dyspnea, difficulty breathing. Another one is pneumonia, which means, the inf in which means infection of the lungs. So pneum means lung. Ia is, the con is meaning condition. So we have a condition of the lung. But here it means we have infection of the lungs. Another one is bronchitis. So bronco and itis, inflammation of the bronchi. Thoracentesis means the removal of fluid from the chest. Thorac was chest. Centesis means puncture to remove fluid. So thoracentesis. Now let's look at the musculoskeletal system. The musculoskeletal system includes bones, muscles, and joints. Now what are some key word roots here? We have osti, which means bone. So for example, osteoporosis, bone weakening. My or myo means muscle. So myopathy means muscle disease. Pathy coming from pathology, myo muscle, so a pathology of muscles or muscle disease. Repeating from before, arthur, meaning joints. Adding itis, we had arthritis, inflammation of the joints. And if you remember, we do not add the O or the combining vowel, making it into arthritis, because itis begins with a vowel. Condor, cartilage. So chondritis, inflammation of cartilage. Some might say chondor. So it would be chondritis, but uh, it doesn't matter. Now, some common musculoskeletal terms. Fracture, meaning break in bone. Osteoarthritis, joint inflammation due to wear and tear. So osteo was bone. Arthur, joint, itis, inflammation. Myalgia, muscle pain. Myo or my was muscle. Algia means pain, so muscle pain, myalgia. Tendinitis, so we have tendon, which essentially is tendons, and itis, inflammation. So inflammation of a tendon would be tendinitis. Now let's do some practice and application here. So we have cardiomyopathy. Cardi, heart, myo, muscle, pathy, Coming from pathology, disease, means what? Cardiomyopathy, disease of the heart, muscle. Another one, pneumothorax. So pneumo, lung. Thorax, chest. So pneumothorax is air in the chest cavity or collapsed lung. Osteomyelitis. So osteo is bone. Myel, marrow. Itis, inflammation. So, inflammation of bone and marrow. Osteomyelitis. So, in the summary, then, we had the cardiovascular system, covering the heart and blood vessels, the respiratory, covering lungs and airways, musculoskeletal, bones, muscles, and joints. We also went into more detail about how we can build complex words from their subparts. So, for example, cardiomyopathy, consisting of cardi, myo, and pathy, disease of the heart muscle. And that's the end of this lecture. Thank you for listening. Continue now to chapter 3.